Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Apache Kafka. What exactly is Apache Kafka? So Apache Kafka is an open source stream processing software platform initially developed by LinkedIn and later on donated to Apache Software Foundation. So basically it's a distributed streaming platform capable of handling trillions of events in a day. So that means that it can send up to 100,000 messages per second. So but before we go any further, we dive in any further, let's go back and uh, rewind and understand understand what is Kafka why why do we have to use Kafka so in a small project uh, say in a company or something you start with a small system we have uh, for instance two systems communicating with each other but what happens when the company grows and you have to uh, develop multiple systems well for instance if uh, one system is communicating to several other systems uh, for instance, a, a data systems uh, sending messages to email or backend for storage and all that. This becomes too complicated and it's so hard uh, to decouple everything. So this is where the Apache Kafka comes in. It's a distributed streaming platform used to decouple without overload. So the Apache software lies in between the source systems and the target systems. Let's go and check the use cases so some of the use cases of apache software is messaging analytics or metrics we, we have activity tracking log gathering stream processing and uh, reducing load as i mentioned earlier uh, by decoupling and also sending or using big data integration such as hadoop spark and other big data technologies but what really is kafka Let's go and check the architecture so that we understand deeply what Kafka does. So Kafka is composed of producers and consumers and in between we have brokers. These brokers, uh, if there are more than one, then they can be containerized in a cluster whereby Zookeeper is used to update the offset and get the broker ID. Well, don't worry about the producers or those words. We are going to get that in a minute step by step let's go into the components of kafka as we we saw in the diagram so we have broker broker allows consumers to fetch messages by topic partition and offset lies in between consumers and producers kafka brokers are stateless we, we're gonna uh, see that in zookeeper zookeeper just manages the broker while the brokers use topic and then send the messages so Zookeeper service is mainly used to notify producer and consumer about the presence of any new broker in the Kafka system. It can also notify about the failure. The producers push messages to be received by brokers. Brokers just check if there are new messages and then it waits for consumers to receive the messages. Consumers pull the messages from the producers. When multiple consumers are subscribed to a topic and belong to the same consumer group, each consumer in the group will receive the messages from the different subset of the petitions in the topic. Well, um, since we've checked how Kafka architecture is, let's go and check who are using Kafka. As we saw earlier, Kafka was developed by LinkedIn. So LinkedIn still uses Kafka and together with Netflix, Twitter, Uber and Airbnb and many other companies use Apache Kafka. So let's go ahead and start creating our code here on IntelliJ. Go to create a new project. I'll choose Spring Initializer and then choose the version of the SDK then uh, for me i'm going with the default one you want to go with that let's go to next let's give it a name we can say kafka the rest is quite okay let's go to next uh we don't need any developer tools project name kafka demo go to finish The first step is to go to the POM file and we have to add a dependency here. Spring Kafka. So that's it. We can start with our configurations as well. 
but first let's go to the controller and set up everything so that later on you can come to our configurations Kafka controller is it it's good to put it in a package yeah that's it in our controller we initialize a new producer create our constructor and then now we create a method that we shall use to send the message so we can call it send message call it message of type string message all right let's add a post mapping mm, we haven't configured something well let's check oh yeah so the error was this was spring boot starter by issue based spring boot starter web all right so we can import that and that as well and something is not right here close there all right so we are going to return a message let's say published successfully all right there you go but before we give that statement we have to send the message first say it's called method send or send message doesn't really matter and then we pass in our message let's go ahead and create our producer class let's create new producer class in a package called services in here let's quickly create our our logo final logo you can just call it logo equals to logo factory get logo close that's it private static final string here we initialize our topic because the user or topic doesn't really matter it depends on what you're doing and then right here we are going to auto wire kafka template so that we don't have to create it from scratch kafka template let's call it kafka template and then let's have our method it should be public send message in there as we had in our controller and then let's log the info while it's been sent what do we want to log let's say producer sending the message now all right we can also add the message in here and now we use this method to send the message Kafka template dot send our topic and message itself. All right, let's go to receiver class. Let's call it consumer class. And here, write our logger. Let's just copy paste it. All right, let's change this. And now we should have a method to consume so void consume what are we consuming the message all right and then and then we should have our annotation for kafka listener and now here it's where we put our topic the one we used before and our topic is user 
let's go ahead and log whatever we received we can say consumer just received the message and there you go the message this logger all right now we have producer and consumer let's check this what's happening everything looks okay all right from there on our resources under our resources we have application dot properties let's go ahead and configure that change it to yaml all so that we configure it using yml file let's factor that so here we're going to start with server the port that we're going to use there let's call it 9000 and then our string and then kafka so from Kafka we're going to configure consumer and producer now this will help you because you don't have to create another class and then configure everything you can do it from this file in our consumer very quickly I'm going to type in uh, the bootstrap the group ID offset and all that and then I'll be right back so we're back again and I've already populated application.yml file. Alright, so just things to make sure that you don't miss out is the string deserializer and string serializer. Make sure a string deserializer is on consumer while string serializer is on producer. Alright, uh, so after that we go ahead and create another file from our source call it docker compose so this will configure all the docker components all right so i'm going to populate this really quickly and then get back to you so i've already populated my docker compose file and before we go into anything let me show you guys if you haven't installed docker compose so just go to the google and type install docker compose the second link here you go to documentation now this documentation will help you to go stepwise and install docker and docker compose so this is a site that will help you install docker compose and docker all right uh, so let's go and check our file so you must make sure that the ports the zookeeper ports is 2181 and the kafka port is 9892 they should be different all right so we are good to go and now we can start running our application So to make sure that you've installed docker well go to your terminal and type docker version click enter we'll see the version that you've installed all right so on the other side i've created two terminals one is to run the spring boot application the other one is to start up docker and thereafter it will start kafka automatically so let's go ahead and start docker Oops, there was an error. So make sure that your docker file is on the right path. Refer to that. Let's try again. Alright, there you go. So Kafka is starting. Alright, so docker now is started. As well as Kafka. And now we can run our application. it's gonna take a few seconds then I'll be right back all right uh, we got an error and I came to realize that uh, it's something that we forgot so we have to configure a bin for topic so just add this bin for new topic and then let's try again all right there you go so let's go to our postman and try to send a message let's call it new message now oops uh, 
there's an error there check our controller let's add this publish and publish here also we need to add rest controller and request mapping let's go ahead and try it again then go to our postman not allowed you should change to post and boom published successfully so if you go back to our logs uh, you can see consumer just received a message new message all right thanks guys thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe to my channel see you next time